Good everyone, I'm going to video. Today we have a sub request by Drew R for the IAR 81C, and I, I kind of like the similarity there, just saying. Now, this plane is a lot of fun, to me at least. The guns are rather effective, unless you're fighting stuff like 820s, which eat them for breakfast, apparently. Um, and it's relatively capable in good hands, but in a 3 7 match, like you're going to see in today's gameplay, it is not the most capable aircraft. It really does struggle in full up tiers. The main selling point for this vehicle, however, is its ground attack capability. And that's why I've tended to see the IAR be used more in ground forces, where these things can absolutely rack up. They recently gave a buff to the air brake, well, the flaps, which now function as air brakes if you want to. Um, the bombs and the rockets are perfectly acceptable, and the guns can also take out some light ground targets if necessary. And what can I say? I mean, for a low tier ground attacker, this thing really fills Italy's need because whilst they do have stuff like the FC 20, the FC 20 is a large target, the IAR isn't. And given that the IAR can not only bring more to the table than the FC 20, other than the, obviously the 37mm. This plane is arguably better for Grand Strike in Grand RB than the FC-20. Purely based on the fact that it's harder to hit, it's got harder hitting weapons, and whilst it doesn't have the 37mm which can knock out the lighter stuff, the 20mm and 792 combo really knocks planes out of the sky. Additionally, this plane is more maneuverable than the FC-20, so that's at least another thing you can claim. But... I'm going to head you over to today's gameplay. It's only two kills and a load of ground targets, nothing really special. We do end up jaying out um, at the end, even after I said, let's go get some bombs, purely because the two remaining teammates I had decided to abandon me. So, well, technically three, if you include the other LE5. So that wasn't really helpful. And, well, I'm not taking on a Yak and a B-18A, because I know I'll lose that. But anyway, I'm going to hand you over to the gameplay now, and I'll see you all on the next one. Okay, Mr. J22, you're first. Yeah, you guys are really helping the team by just farming bots. Those three have been farming bots since the game started, so... Yeah, not being much use, are ya? Don't forget, people, this thing does have air brakes now. Its flaps work like air brakes. Make sure to use them in high speed dives because this thing still compresses quite badly. Well, it doesn't compress as, it bad well, as badly as it used to, but. I would still use the air brakes in a high speed dive if you absolutely need to. Very useful kit. Just remember though, if you break off your flaps, uh, you're kind of boned. God, Gaijin servers giving me stutters again. Thanks. Come on, man, it's a stationary fucking grand target. Did you just break his prop? At least we can help the team by ground pounding a little bit. This thing does well at that. Can ground pound really effectively. He's going after that bot, because, yeah, that Milton is a bot. The player who was originally there um, disconnected. Never mind as well, that LA5 is farming with cannon. I'm only farming with machine gun, and it's, it's working a lot easier for me. This is the problem with the IAR though, once you get stuck at a 3-7 match, you're not really going to be doing much. Because look, half, half the enemy team's already dead, like, this, this is just the life of an IAR, unfortunately. If you get your own BR at 2-7, 3-0, this thing does pretty dang well. And if you take this thing to the ground forces, it's especially good. 
But otherwise, this is probably what you're going to be doing. But at least you've got great firepower to defend yourself and everything. I mean, you've got two 151s, you've got two 7.92 FM Brownings, like, they're, they're perfectly acceptable weapons. If you're looking to purchase this aircraft, I would heavily recommend looking at my review for it. The review is before the buff, by the way. I might actually do an update video review, well, premium review on this plane. I think it deserves it. Come on, there we go. I mean, you could, I mean, it's not the most powerful plane, like, it, it definitely feels underpowered, but... It's relaxing, you know? Well, with the LA-5 stat padders heading back to base after farming their bots, I think we have to go after this A-20 now, which I, I... I mean, we can catch an A-20. It's, that's not the problem. It's their 50 cals I'm worried about. Come here, son. Promise I'll make this as quick as I can. Nope. Those things are also pretty tanky, so you got to be careful of that as well. Is he just eating my cannon shells? Like, fuck, you know. Okay, that makes my job a little easier. What is he doing? Oh, I think he just... Nope, his engines are fine. My aim is horrible today. Nice solid hit. Let's try and knock out an engine with my remaining ammo. Let's keep the pressure on. Victory is close. That ought to do it. You should be going in after that. And the answer is yes. He's gone. Perfect. Let's head back to base and get some bombs. Well, in the end, I ended up J'ing out because, well, my last remaining teammates decided to J out. That rush, that Chinese P40 that you saw, he J'd out, and the LA-5s also J'd out. And considering I was up against a Yak, a B-18A, as well as two unknown, I'd rather not take the risk. But I hope that gives a showcase of what the IAR-81C can do. And I'll see you all on the next one.